to, to join him underground. And, uh, and so Mortonstorm starts encrypted email communications with Alaki, and Alaki likes the idea of finding a, a, you know, a woman to marry on the run. His wife is, of course, in Sana, he hasn't seen her in years. So Mortonstorm, I mean, it's, it's a bizarre but true story. Mortonstorm <laughs> posts an ad on Facebook, for, <laughs> uh, on the Alaki Facebook group. Uh, and, you know, for women that are interested in, uh, in, in being with Al-Laki underground, and a lot of women respond, respond to this thing, and they're sending a video, it's like sort of jihadi OK Cupid or something, but they're like sending these, uh, these videos. And, and, and this one woman from, uh, from Croatia, who was a Catholic convert to Islam named Amina, she, um, she becomes the top candidate, and she and Al-Laki exchange videos, and in the first video she's, she's covered, and then she says, after I get a video back from you, I'll show you what I look like without the head cover and they have this communication back and forth and Alaki is sending her videos, she's sending him videos, and so you know they're they're sort of phone dating before the, the real thing. Um, she has no idea that this that the CIA is behind this. She is interested in Anwar Alaki. And, uh, and and she thinks that Morton Storm, which by the way you could not make that name up, Morton Storm. Um, Mort, Morton Storm is working with the CIA and also becoming very close to Amina. And so the CIA pays for her, although she thinks it's from Alaki, pays for her to fly to Europe. And, uh, and, and, and they're preparing her for a trip and they give her some cash. And then the, um, the, C the CIA had laced brand new luggage with tracking devices to give to Amina. And their idea was that Amina is going to get on a plane with this luggage. She's going to go and meet Anwar Alaki, and then the US will kill both of them in a drone strike. I mean, which, I mean if you think about all the implications of that, how kind of heinous that is. But that was the plan. So, Amina gets on the plane with the CIA's Louis Vuitton or whatever it was, and she <laughs> arrives in Sana. And Alaki's people come to pick her up at the airport, and they say, you know, nice luggage, but ditch it all. They get rid of the luggage. They force her to change clothes and put on different clothes, and then they get into a car and they disappear. And the CIA had never heard from Amina again. And she, in fact, married Anwar Alaki and had a baby with him. So it's like the CIA's dating service. <laughs> And with that, I will end all the only funny moments in my book. Um, so, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe you'll find something else. But uh, there's a little trick in there somewhere. Um, so, so Amina is living with Anwar Alaki, and they're underground on the run. And they are joined also by another American, um, a Pakistani American named Samir Khan, who was a, a pretty radical Islamist blogger, uh, and who was openly, while he was growing up in North Carolina, openly calling for U.S. troops to be killed in Iraq, posting videos of IED explosions, saying this is the way it should be done. The New York Times had done a profile on him. He ends up going to Yemen also, and 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 is stu supposedly studying Arabic there, but then goes and finds Anwar Alaki, and so these three are kind of traveling around together. And in uh, in in September of 2011, U.S. intelligence working with Saudis and the Yemenis. They, they locate Anwar al-Laki, and they, they determine where he is. And he actually was not anywhere near the south of Yemen, where they repeatedly tried to kill him. He was in the north of Yemen, staying in this small house. And, um, and Obama had, had said that even if there are children in the house where al-Laki is, I, I, I don't want that to rule out a strike. I want to be presented with the intelligence as it exists on the ground and make a decision once we know all of the facts. So they, they know that they have al-Laki. President Obama has already signed the death warrant for Alaki. He's going to be killed. They're not even going to attempt to capture at this point. He comes out of the um, of the house and they get into a car and the U.S. launches two missiles. The first one blows up the car. The second one was to ensure that no one survived in the blast. And so Anwar Alaki and Samir Khan were killed. Amina wasn't in the car. She's still alive, as far as I know, and is writing for Al uh, for Inspire magazine, the Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula magazine. So she should thank the CIA for her employment for her kid, but not. But ultimately, they also killed her husband. So. So Anwar, Anwar and Samir Khan, Anwar Alaki and Samir Khan are killed, blown up in this U.S. drone strike. And President Obama then gives a speech at Fort Myer uh, the, that, that day, and he you know, doesn't say the United States has killed Anwar Alaki. He says, you know, that we've got new word that Anwar Alaki has been killed, and, and Obama used a term 